obviously a pretty uh, pretty wild fight in there tonight. Can you give us your idea. I mean, how, how are you feeling after that one and, and the performance that you turned in? Oh uh, man, I, it's it was all right. Uh, I got I got I got sloppy at the end for sure. I was trying to take his head off, um, but uh, you know I, I don't like decisions, so I was just anything to get that knockout. Uh, dude was tough. He took some some rough shots and we made it all the way to a, th through to a decision. Usually I'm not happy with it, but you know hey, it's a UFC win. It's all good. It was definitely a weird situation. What, what was going through your head in the first round? There were some tense moments in there, weren't there? What do you mean? In the first round, a little bit of trouble for you, weren't you? Yeah, well, oh, yeah, yeah. So when he got, yeah, he started uh, sinking the choke in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah he, he started sinking the choke in. Um, at first, it was kind of, you know, it, it was pretty tight, but I had lost my last two fights to chokes. So I, was, I just, I wasn't having that today. Um, so I just, I just, I just made sure that I, I tried to stay technical um, and defend those chokes the right way, and I, I was able to get out and get that win. How much did seven is keeping problems? Say it again. How much did seven is going to be the UFC better? Have a little bit more experience coming to play. Man, you can, you can, I, I could definitely feel it. Um, there are, again, there are a couple of shots I hit him with that were rough. I think a lot of, a lot of middleweights would have definitely dropped from those shots. So, you know, him, him being able to come up and take those shots, there were a couple of times I felt like he was kind of fading out and, uh, and I was close to the knockout. Um, but, you know, his, his experience showed by him being able to still keep his composure and keep the fight going. Do you think in the big picture this is something that you need for your career? Some crazy like this that you can't script and to be able to go through through fast and colors? No, nah, man. I need to. I need to. I need to. Uh, I need to be cleaner than that. Number one. Uh, number two. I, I, to have a long career, I think you just gotta you gotta fight intelligent. You know, you don't want to go in there and have wars every time you get into a fight, and every fight shouldn't be a scrap. You know, so uh, I plan on on being a lot more clean uh, in the future and, and getting some nice crisp knockouts and finishes. How does your career progress from this point? You know, obviously you took the time off. What, what do you do now? How do things bounce out? Um, I mean, right now you just, I mean, I'm just gonna keep it going, fight to fight. Um, my next fight's the most important, and just just keep winning them, get back on the street. You have like an extra sense of urgency knowing that you got a guy coming in on like a, virtually a day's notice and you kind of have the mentality of like, no, you're not going to show up and just beat me like that. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, for sure. Uh, especially since he came up weight class and, and, uh, and we're we're here in Houston, man. I was I wasn't about to come out here and take that ill, man. Like I mean, he hit me a couple of a couple of times. Um, he, he hit me with some good shots. He he uh, he got he got pretty close to a choke. Uh, but like I said, I, I just wasn't having it, man. That wasn't happening out here. Had you heard him play back to the crowd a little bit too? Right? Yeah, yeah. I heard him yelling out the woos, you know. So I had to give him one. Had you uh, seen him in the hotel before this fight was made? Like, he was cornered somewhere. This week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and again, that's why I give him props because that's man. That's like I was. I told some other people, man. He's to to not have um, an expectation to to fight. You know, that takes a lot of mental preparation. You know, to to get in there and do this. Um, that guy had no idea he was gonna fight. And he heard that a fight dropped and dude raised his hand. Man, a lot so of people he, talk he about it. Up. What's that? Was he the one that volunteered for this fight? Yeah, he, he raised his hand. Uh, I, I, as far as I knew, I wasn't going to fight, you know, because my, uh, my other opponent had some, had some issues, some medical issues. So um, he stepped up. <coughs> he stepped up, raised his hand. Uh, then they called me, and they're like, hey, you know, there's this guy, Krauss, out here saying that, that he'll take the fight, you know. Um, and and he, was, he was on weight. He was at, you know, like 182, coming up from, from 170. Um, and he, he, took, he took the fight like a G, and he, he came in, and, and we got it done. So I wouldn't say that uh, it wasn't it wasn't a lot of pressure, but uh, you know just having somebody somebody uh, again last minute and um, having a lighter guy come in the fight you know you don't want, you don't want to lose that fight you know so um, it is it's definitely different uh, it put me in different space mentally my first opponent was supposed to be a really big guy. Um, and then I ended up fighting a smaller guy, you know? So it was, it was, it was, it was definitely uh, something I needed to adjust to. Yeah, yeah. What would you do if you had time to prepare, had a real training camp and you were fighting? If I had to prepare for him, um, I would put in a lot more, uh, a lot more boxing rounds. Um, again, I feel like I got, I got pretty, pretty sloppy because I was trying to finish him. I could have been in a, a lot tighter with my, my hooks and, and, and my straight shots. And uh, I think if I'd have put in more boxing rounds, I'd have got him out of there. But uh, yeah, I, I would have definitely done that more. After the, uh, your opponent had a medical emergency, the talk was about how great it was that you now have a fight. Somebody stepped in. But do you think maybe the, the talk should have been a little bit about the dangers of weight cutting and how that was kind of glossed over? Nobody really spoke about 
Yeah, um, you know, it is what it is. I, I feel like at this point, the UFC is just more concerned about uh, being able to promote that fight, you know, getting the word out there. I mean, everything happened so fast. Um, I think that j that was the main focus, you know, just to say, hey, you know, you know, our, uh, your hometown guy is still fighting. Uh, this guy stepped up, you know, and it was uh, it was big. It, it, it got out pretty fast. As soon as I got on social media, I heard every I saw everybody talking about it and stuff. So uh, I think that was the main goal is just to promote this fight and, and keep it all moving. And, and again, that was my opponent's responsibility to be able to make weight. So whatever he did. Um, obviously, he came in too heavy and, and, and had some issues, so he should have been a little bit more disciplined, and we could have made it happen. Uh, last time we spoke, you said you never wanted to be one of those fighters that felt they had nothing else to fall back on but fighting. You said you have a beautiful wife, a beautiful son, you have a career as a police officer, and if you did lose, it wasn't the end for you. Mm -hmm. Does the win give you hope that you can balance all those things and have a fight career and a, a career as a police officer as well? I've always had... Uh, I, I never lost hope of being able to do both. Um, that was that was always my thing, you know. Before before the UFC, my thing was being able. That was my goal to to be able to be a police officer for the Houston Police Department, and also to uh, to be able to fight in, in the UFC, you know. So um, I wouldn't say that it gives me more hope. I, I still have the same amount of, uh, of hope, and it was just it was expected for me. No, nah, man, he's he's a totally different guy. He he has a different style. Um, Cummings has more of a unique style than than what he has. He's more of a he's more traditional than Cummings is. Um, but I think I think it was uh, him him training with Cummings and 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 coaching him and stuff like that. I think that that's what uh, made him more comfortable with taking the fight um, because me and me and Cummings fight, fought and um, and he was a little familiar with me. So I think that helped him making his decision to fight me.